I'm going to show you how we got the time that we spent editing a video from six to eight hours down to 30 minutes. The same goes for podcasts and it's given us an absolute gold mine of stuff to share on social media and it's gonna do the same for you. One of my big principles in life is minimize ball ache. If you want to establish good habits, you need to make those habits as easy as possible to do and make the bad habits as hard as possible to do. One of the big reasons that coaches fail online is the friction required to make content. So not only are they battling with all of the internal stuff, the fear of putting themselves out there, imposter syndrome, but then there's all the production hurdles as well. You might not have the cash to hire an editor and so you're stuck with this huge barrier to make a video. As you can tell, we're happy to forego Hollywood level production quality I would prefer being able to just turn up and record and not have to be fiddling around with a DSLR and the settings and on the thing. And it's why I like this hairy muff microphone as well, because you can plug it into your computer, USB, not faffing around with a mixer and all of this stuff. Cause it's just extra hurdles that mean that you end up not creating content. And that's the thing which you're trying to influence. But then once you've got that out of the way, then comes the editing. And that's like concentrated ball lake in a little pipette. We used to use ScreenFlow, which is fine, but recently we've discovered Descript. Oh my God, is it possible to fall in love with an app? Yes, we've discovered that with my heartthrob, the love of my life, Alfred, but these guys just get it. The whole app is designed around eliminating friction. So we have transcription technology, we have editing software, and they've just combined the two. What Descript essentially does is it turns your video editing into text editing. So your videos or your podcast will just become a document that you're editing like a Word document, and then that becomes the final product. It also makes things like the jump cuts that you're seeing in this video a lot easier. The reason I love jump cuts is that, number one, you don't have to nail everything on a single take, and number two, each jump cut resets the attention of the viewer. That also helps you to eliminate any fluff and be as concise as possible. It shows respect for your audience. I've discovered I've got a fetish for command palettes in apps, you press Command K and you can do anything from there without leaving the keyboard. If that sounds like something that will improve your workflow, we have an affiliate link in the link below. We get something like a dollar per person, so we don't make big chunks of money from affiliates. The reason I'm making this video really is just because I'm so excited about it. Since we've started using it, we've noticed that the growth on the channel has improved because the YouTube algorithm favors two things. It relies on average view duration so the total time that someone watches a video and click-through rate, which explains all the wacky thumbnails that we have on the channel. And so using the software has made that a lot easier. It's also great for long form writing. So we've written an entire website, an entire blog, just based on a two hour conversation that Johnny and I had on Zoom, which was then converted into Descript into a text format. And then that was just cleaned up and turned into blog posts. So it makes content creation so frictionless. You don't have to use manual services like rev.com and wait for a two day turnaround or any of that. It transcribes it within a minute. The other massive benefit it's given us is that it's allowed us to repurpose content up the wazoo. So Gary V talks about having pillar content, which is the core content that you have. It might be a podcast interview that you've done or a talk at a certain event or just some kind of long form video. You then take that, you chop it up into relevant segments that maybe there's highlights from it, maybe there's a section of it that people were commenting saying, oh, that bit was really helpful. Turn that into a short form video, add subtitles easily with Descript, that becomes a social media video in itself, it becomes a, a reel or a TikTok or a YouTube short or something. I might be called Buddy, but I don't think I'm called Buddy. I watch this guy's face and he's going like, the fuck what the fuck and he looks like scared by it quite often we found that the short form segments can perform better than the original content if you look at our channel you'll see that the clips from the Stu mcgill interview have done far better than the podcast itself i used to struggle with this because i thought that if you posted the same thing twice in any way that it would bore people or people would get sick of the repetition but the truth is like all of your audience haven't heard all of your content. It's not, it's not possible. You might, you know, we have hundreds or thousands of hours of content. So it's wrong to assume that everyone's heard everything. There might be a golden nugget one hour and 45 minutes into a podcast that actually very few people end up getting to the point of hearing that if you were to take that and post it on your Instagram, it would do really well. So you can make those videos really easily with the title on the top and the subtitles. Some of the other features I use quite heavily in Descript. So screen recording, 
or instructional content. So if we were recording a process for a staff member or an instructional video for onboarding a new client or a freelancer or something, it's the same as Loom, but it gives them a written transcript as well and shows where they are in the transcript. So just massively improves the friction with any of this stuff. You can export the video from Descript straight into Final Cut if you want to do any kind of advanced edits. You can do audiograms like this. There is also a very scary feature, which is almost like existential risk level scary, that you can type words into Descript and it generates the sound in your voice. This speech is entirely synthesized from typing words. The end is nigh. The technology apocalypse is coming. Hide your kids, hide your wife. There's a way to automatically remove in bulk all of the ums and ahs and so and like. And actually, when you look at a transcript for an hour's podcast, you're like, whoa, 547 ums are detected in this piece. They now support multicam, so if you have two cameras set up, it'll detect the person that's speaking and switch the angle to them. Like, these are all stuff that would be so heavily manual if you're doing them in a normal video editing software. It also plugs into Zoom and gives you live transcripts of Zoom calls. If you're using it for meetings or whatever, you can take out highlights of the meeting. And finally, there's something called studio sound. So if you're recording in a noisy background environment, you'll be able to isolate your voice and make it sound like you're recording in a studio. There's obviously a limit to that. If you're recording with a potato, you can't expect it to be radio quality, but there's certainly a big improvement. And I'll play you an example. The first time I tried to diet to a level of full absolute, um, and the experience I had was the first time I tried to diet to a level of full absolute. Um, and the experience I had was I would get. So Descript, have a look at it in the link below. This is, remember, one cog in the massive machine of the content strategy, which is the business strategy of turning your expertise into a full-time income. And that's what this channel's about. That's what we can help you with. If that sounds like something you want to chat with us about, you can book a call with us as well. We have a few slots every week where we can talk through helping you turn your skills or your expertise into a full-time income. Otherwise, have a look at this.